Welcome everyone, welcome to a new Let's Play. This is Metal Canyon, and we'll be playing Car Mechanics Simulator 2015. Even though it's 2016 already, but yes, this game was uh, already released last year. Um, well, I wasn't really planning on um, Let's Playing this game, because I didn't think it would be that interesting to watch. I mean, it's fun to play and waste time, but um, yeah, I didn't really think it would be that interesting for uh, viewers, but then a lot of people have asked me to play this, and then there was nothing until now. So we'll be playing Car Mechanics Simulator 2015 from the beginning, of course. So let's start a new game. Mmm, new game. And I have no idea whether I'm still recording or not. I might be. I don't know. But I might be recording, because it's low. Alright, that, that was very loud. Welcome to Car Mechanic Simulator 2015. In this short tutorial, we will show you the basic mechanics of the game and show you how to sort out your first few jobs. Mm, do I want to do the tutorial? I kind of almost forgot. No, I'm going to skip the tutorial because I'm stupid or something. I've increased the FOV um, because, it, believe it or not, it's actually set at 50 by default. I never noticed that, actually, probably because it's not really a first-person shooter. But anyway, um, those are some very shiny little lights, look at that. Mmm. Wheels. Man, who would buy a wheel like that? And that black, that's just too yellow for me. Eh, which one, which wheel would I pick for my car, for example? Probably this one? Or... Or something like this, I think it's quite nice. It's not too, you know, brash or whatever. Don't even talk about spinners. Anyway, uh, let's uh, take a job right now, of course, because we have almost no... Well, we have no experience, and I guess uh, we aren't very very well known in the mechanic world. Uh, we just get the, you know, little jobs. So, let's see. Gen Whoa. Bloody hell, that's loud. General running gear control and repair. The car's filters need replacing. Uh, eh, it doesn't really say how much we'll earn on it, but uh, let's just take all the jobs anyway. Loading Royal Bianco. <clears throat> and there it is. My, my, what a beauty. I'm not sure what this is supposed... I think this is supposed to be sort of like a Fiat Punto, I believe. Sort of resembles it, not quite. Of course, they can't make, you know, they can't quite license cars, although they did license the Mercedes. Yeah. Uh, so, good. I've already forgotten what we had to do with this one. Uh, open repair order. Uh, general running gear control and repair. So, rear springs, rubber bushing, spring cap. Okay, so this car has to go on to the, uh, one of the lifters. The music might be a little too loud. Alright, so let's see. Let's uh, get it up there. We'll get it up. Let's get it up. Yeah, that's a good thing to say. Oh, there's Bosch there. That's interesting. Yeah, they have some actual uh, advertisements in the game. Alright. Uh, right, so there we go. Even by uh, visual inspection, we can see that the suspension is a bit short. So we'll have to uh, get that sorted. Normal mode. Right over there. Rear suspension arm. Let's uh, disassemble that. Oh, yeah. We need to disassemble all of that first. Take that off and the spring cap, and then we can take the rear suspension off. Take those things out. There. And also, I can see that that thing is quite badly rusted. The rear spring cap over there. Um. Alright, everything else looks pretty good. I mean, it's kind of rusty, but that's wear and tear. Uh, so we said the rear spring. I mean, I can turn all these on to make my job a lot easier, but it kind of, you know, defeats the fun of finding the stuff yourself. So, uh, yeah, definitely need to take these. Wait, is there something else here? Oh, yeah, the bushing, of course. Let's take that out. Off we go. There you go. Alright, excellent. Uh, right. How do I... How do I get out of this view? 
Uh, uh, I forgot. Wait, just escape. There we go. Uh, so I want to go to this side and get this pushing out. Pushing, pushing, pushing. There we go. Was that it? It was the two rubber bushings, the suspension arm, the rear spring, and the spring cap. I think, yeah, we've taken all of those out. So, uh, let's see. We obviously can't repair them yet, because uh, we just, we're just not good enough, but we can try. Ah, you did not succeed with the repair. Our condition decreased. In fact, we've blown it to bits. Alright. Oh, no. You're gonna hate me for this. This is the part of the game where I keep running back and forth to see what exactly I need for this car. So, two rubber bushings, rear spring, suspension arm, and spring cap. And I will promptly forget that, so I will have to run back yet again. So, we need the rubber bushing. There we go, two of them. Then we need the rear spring. Do we need the rear spring? Rear something, arm. Is suspension arm A, right? Or was it B? No, it was A. I think. Otherwise, we're just wasting money. And something else, which... Oh, the, the, the bushing cap thing? Something? Let's see. So let's put it back... Together. Huh. I thought it was my computer doing that noise, but no. It's actually the, the fans in the mechanic shop. Alright, so let's go over here. Assembly mode. Uh, let's put... Why can't I... There we go. Ooh, that's a bit weird. I remember being able to... Oh yeah, this is fine. Um, to control the camera a bit differently, but no, I guess that's fine. Alright, uh, let's put this spring cap back on. Wait, is that okay? Spring cap. Yes, that's okay. Well, the minimum condition needs to be 61%. And that was what? That was 60-something, 8, or whatever. Alright, let's put the uh, rear spring back on. 65, that's fine. So I didn't need that. Well, I'll use it on some other thing. 71, that's fine as well. There's the rear suspension arm, which is 3% condition, so that's pretty much trash. Although I might hold on to it for later. I don't know. Was that it? Yes, that was it. I can finish the job. Car is incomplete. Cannot perform this action. Missing rear shock absorber cap. Oh. Oops. Eh. Uh, is it? Oh yeah, I remember there was a cap thing over there somewhere. There it is. Wait, I just took it out. No, 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 no. Put it there. And then the other one as well. Where's the other one? Uh, oh, I've forgotten a lot about this. So wait a second. The thing is here. And over here, we don't even have the spring in yet. <laughs> yeah, of course. That would be bad. Oh, spring cap. That's what we need. All right. Shame I can't sprint. Spring cap. So it's not an autumn cap. It's a spring cap. There you go. Let's put that in there. That's what she said. And she's a car mechanic. Uh, right, assembly mode. There you go. Mmm, that looks lovely. It's like new. Oh, no, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. I'm not giving you a new spring for free. You can use your old crappy one. Oh. No, no. They actually need a new one. Alright, never mind. So I haven't actually wasted any money, I believe. Alright. I believe this car is finished. We get uh, 500 bucks. So we've made 208. That's not too bad. Is it? Nah, it's not too bad. Right. Royale Crown. Ooh. Unfortunately, we can't take these because we need more experience. Bloody hell, look at this one. 3000 XP. And we've got 122. That's not too bad, I guess. Reno Piccolo. All right. Uh, the filters need replacing. That's fine. We can do that. Loading Reno Piccolo. Hmm. Filter should be quite uh, easy. So what is it? One, just air filter, fuel fil filter, oil filter. Okay. All right. Uh, disassembly mode. 
So let's, oh yeah, we have to take off the clips first. There we go. Oh, these clips are in fairly good condition. There we go. Take off the air filter cover. Ugh, oh my god, look at that air filter. It is completely shot. 5%. How are you still running your car, man? Right, um... Where is the oil filter? It should be... No, wait. It should be on the other side, I believe. I think I'll only get it from the bottom, though. Yeah, of course. <laughs> the oil filter is on the bottom. Uh, what else did it say? Air, fuel, and oil. Now, where does this car have the fuel filter? There's the oil filter. Uh, serpentine belt, blah, blah, blah. That's the cool thing about this. Wait a second. Throttle? What? This is a carburet carburetor thing? No? Or is it doesn't even have direct injection? Interesting. ABS pump, fuel filter. And there it is. All right. And then I believe we'll have to... Actually, let's just buy the uh, two things first. Fuel filter. There. And an air filter. For an I-4. Wow, look at that. One carburetor. Two carburetors. <laughs> uh, well, just the air filter then. And of course, the uh, oil filter. The I-4. The inline 4. We also have the inline 6. That's nice. The V8. Uh, overhead cam. Wait. Overhead valve, I guess. And just the normal V8. Alright. Let's replace these. Yeah, it is kind of relaxing, this game. There's nothing to shoot at. Nothing to get shot by at. Right, the lovely new air filter. Look at the difference, man. How are you able to drive with that crappy piece of S? Uh, that was quite bad. You don't want to do that to your car. Not at all. Alright. And the fuel filter, of course. Wow. The fuel filter was in horrible condition as well. Right, let's move this car to the lifter. That is a horrible color, though, by the way. Oh man, this thing is loud. I'm actually going away. I'll have to uh, fiddle with sound settings, I guess. Right, let's get the uh, fuel... Blah, 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 the oil filter. Now, the thing is, can I take this off without all the oil just going everywhere? Okay. Phew. Interesting. All right. And let's assemble the new oil filter. There we go. Brilliant. And that's it, pretty much. This car is finished. Didn't really get much, but there you go. Wait a second. I barely got any money at all. Oh, bloody hell. Mm -hmm. All right. There we go. Royal Blanco. Oh, Bianco. Let's take that one. Car is hard to control. It's going to be right. Trailing arms or something. Um... Or maybe the steering wheel is missing. Who knows? It might be. That is a very interesting color. All right. Inner tie rod. That's it. Okay. We'll certainly need to put it on a lifter. Let's do the right lifter for once. All right. Turbo. Oh, it's a Garrett Turbo. Can I take it out? No. Toolbox. I don't have anything here. This, this is the uh, upgrades you can get by spending uh, XP. Like, you can then get an OBD scanner, a compression tester, electronic meter, or you can upgrade your, you know, usual stuff like fast and bolting, which is very nice, and fast assembly and disassembly. Very cool. Because it sort of, uh, well... It uh, doesn't waste a lot of your time. Which is kind of funny, because that's what the game is about, you know? Doing the unbolting and everything, and that just speeds the process up. Where the hell is this part? Inner tie rod. What? Is that... Uh, where is that? Alright. So where is it? Oh, it's over there. Okay. How did I not see it before? Oh, there we go. I can see it from here. All right. So, can I just take it apart? Nope. I will have to take all the wheels off. All right. Rim classic. All right. Let's take it off. I don't even know why it did, like, a 
you know, cross shape thing like you're usually supposed to take uh, tires apart. Uh, I mean, you know, that stuff, but I don't know. It's a game, it doesn't matter. Inner tie rod. Alright, let's uh, buy one. I really wonder how much... Let's see how much it costs and how much we'll get for this car. Inner tie rod. 30. Alright. How much are we going to get for this? I think it wasn't even necessary to take um, the tire off. Hmm. Oh well. Inner tie rod. Outer tie rod. There we go. And then put the rims back on. Yeah, but I, I don't even have to, you know, tighten them like that. I would need a torque, um, torque screwdriver anyway. All right, this is it. 60, huh? We got 30 bucks. Wow. Well, fortunately, though, there's no overhead for the mechanic shop. You don't have to pay rent or anything. So it is just a sandbox. Uh, let's get another Reno Pianca. Knocking noises from engine bay. Ooh, that sounds bad. <laughs> sounds really bad. Reno Piccolo. Oh, why did I say Bianco? Reno Piccolo. All these cars sound like they're, you know, like they're uh, Italian or something. Is this a... It's, it's sort of like a panda, isn't it? A Fiat Panda? I don't know. Hmm. Maybe not. Anyway, uh, there's something seriously wrong with the engine, I guess. Hmm. Knocking sounds. You know what? Let's try this car on our parking paint shop. No, wait. Where's our test track? Uh, uh, that's not there. It's not there. Is it outside here? Exit. There we go. Uh, old factory test track with a Reno Piccolo. <clears throat> that's what we need. Loading, loading. Loading. I am looking at this engine here part here, and there is light shining on my arm. Oh yeah, there's a Reno Piccolo. Vruten. Yeah. Let's go. Bloody hell! Wait a second. Oh, I can't go to the options. Bloody hell! It's loud. Yeah. To the red limit. To the red line because it's a uh, it's not ours yeah. whoa red line That's, that's all right. That's fine. There's, nobody will notice that huge, mongous dent. Nobody. I tell you. It will be fine. Just don't worry about it. Just don't tell them about it. <laughs> that's a big honking V8. All right, there we go. Examine the engine... I mean, the report. Unfortunately, it doesn't really say much about the engine. We would need the uh, OBD port, if this uh, car has an OBD port. I'm, I'm sorry, an OBD instrument. Um, but the list has been provided idle roller A, so... I think we'll need to take the engine apart for this one. Because the thing is there. There it is. I don't think we can really disassemble that. Yeah, we'll have to get rid of the serpentine belts and the bell tensioner. Won't really have to take the the whole engine apart, which is fortunate, but there you go. There we go. Oh, actually, that was a lot easier than I thought it would be. Idle Roller A. You bloody thing. Alright. Idle Roller. Oh. Idle? Oh, Idler Roller. Okay. Well, let's put the Idler Roller... In there. There you go. Uh, the belt back on. And the tensioner. Screw it in there. And that's it. The engine should be running just fine. Wait, what did it say? Knocking noises from engine bay. Oh, okay, 40. Well, that's not too bad. Alright. 
Next car. What is the next car? I kind of want to do this one. Royal Bianco. The car's filters need replacing. General engine control and repair. I'll take that one. Because that sounds good. Yeah. Reno pick. Alright. Well, anyway. I hope you've enjoyed this. I'll, um, I'll probably go and check the sound levels for the first episode. And if it's not good, well, then we'll have a problem. Well, the, um... Exhaust manifold over there is already a bit tired, so we'll need to uh, change that. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this first episode of Car Mechanic Simulator uh, 2015, and we'll continue next time when we'll repair this car, or, well, the engine. Oh, I've got a phone. Gotta go. Bye-bye.